All right, so welcome to part two of Honest Conversations with Sean. This is 10 minute conversations with me about my goals, ambitions, issues, and feelings as a 23 year old freelance photographer. So let's start the timer and get on with part two. All right, so we're gonna start the timer right now, 10 minutes and counting. So today's topic is about being the dumbest person in the room. So for a goal of my 2024 year, my goal is to be the dumbest person in the room. And I think it's one of the smartest things I can do in 2024. Uh, Let me explain why. So what does it mean to be the dumbest person in the room? Basically, I wanna surround myself with people who are smarter than me, more experienced than me, wiser than me. And basically, I'm just the dumbest person in the room. Um, I mean, dumb is a harsh word, but that is what I would coin myself as. Like, I'm, I cannot teach the other people my experience because they know more than me. And the reason I'm doing this is because I think in 2023, I think I was a little bit too cocky. I think I was a bit too overconfident with my abilities. I would go in on set, I would do photo shoots and think that I know it all and I wouldn't listen to others, to be honest. I would be like, good idea, but let's stick to mine, right? So in 2023, I really felt that I closed a lot of opportunities, I closed a lot of doors because I was too confident in myself. You know, confidence is good to an extent, but last year for me, I was like, I felt I was on the top of the world, which is definitely not the case. I'm more of on the tip of the iceberg. So yeah, for this year, I definitely wanna do the total opposite of that. I want to start from the bottom. I want to be the person who is just like literally just the production assistant or like just grabbing water for the director. I, I want to be at the bottom so I'm able to get into doors that will provide me with people who are much more experienced than me who can teach me. Right? So that's, that's the reason I'm doing this. And I like it to something like me being a sponge in a fish tank in a room full of Harvard professors having a meeting, right? I'm just a sponge and I'm just soaking in whatever they're talking about, whatever conversations they're having. I'm just listening on the side. Like I'm not intruding. I'm not asking any questions. I'm simply just soaking it all in as a sponge uh, for the hopes of, you know, being a bigger sponge and one day being SpongeBob, something like that, right? So uh, I've actually been doing that already so far in 2024. And one of the instances I could think of is I was on this music video shoot for my friend and he invited me to be a production assistant and also a behind the scenes photographer. Uh, Honestly, I was quite packed at the time, like in terms of my commitments, but you know, I thought this to myself like, hey, this opportunity is gonna surround myself with directors, cinematographers, uh, you know, actors, singers, like this is an opportunity where I can really learn a lot from, right? Even though it's not a paid opportunity, but it's gonna pay me in education. It's gonna pay me in the expertise, right? So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's do it. I'm down to shoot whatever. Let me do anything. Like I'm happy to just be there, right? So we go on the day of the shoot and I'm there with all my equipment and prepared. And just like the entire day was so eventful because there's so much that I haven't seen yet that I saw that day, you know, the camera set up, the lighting set up, the way that the director is directing people, the way that people are talking to each other about ideas. It really just opened up a new world in my universe. Like I learned so much from that experience that I am seeking more of it in 2024, right? It, it's like a free class, you know, like you can also practice your craft there, but at the same time, you're like hearing these conversations, you're like seeing all this stuff, you're like, wow. Like, this is so eye-opening and it's so beneficial to me because that's the direction I wanna go to, right? Obviously, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, okay, yeah, let's put myself in the dumbest, as the dumbest person in the room of accounting people. Like, I don't wanna do accounting. Obviously, put yourself in a room where you want to be, where you're looking to learn more of that stuff, right? And yeah, I think it's been going well so far. I think, you know, a way for me to keep doing this would really teach me how to be like, okay, take my pride out the way, like pride is not in the equation. 
Just be a person who is just curious, right? I'm sure if you go on set or if you do anything to en- with anyone, as long as you're curious, as long as you're nice, and you're not, not nagging or annoying them, they're happy to have you there, you know what I mean? So, and if more often times than not, these people of like, who are wiser, who are more experienced, they're happy to teach you, they're happy to give their knowledge because it makes them feel like, you know, they're helping someone, which they are, right? Um, Which brings me to the next point. How do I or do you get even into these situations? Where do we find the opportunities to put ourselves as the dumbest person in the room? Well, for me, what I did is I definitely have a lot of people I look up to, you know, in the creative space, especially in Bangkok alone. Like there's so many people that I'm like, wow, how do you do that? How do you even run this business? How do you take that shot? Like there's so many people out there that's on my list. Like I have a list that I keep track of. Okay, yo, this guy's like top in his game about, you know, hospitality. This girl's like the best in her game about modeling. So there's all these people I really admire. And what I would do um, basically is to message them on Instagram. Like I would send a DM and it doesn't matter if they see it or not. My first DM is always like, hey man, or hey girl, like, hey, whatever. I really admire your work. I've been a long time fan of your work and I really just want to say I appreciate you so much for doing what you're doing and hope you can keep it up, right? So the first message is always just letting them know that I've been following their work and I, I really appreciate their, you know, what they've been contributing. And if they do reply, that's awesome. If not, it's a nice little message for them that will make it their day, I hope. But if they do reply, my kind of next message would be like, uh, if you're looking for anything, any help with anything, or like if you need help with photos, because I do photos, then just hit me up. Like I'm happy to do it. No, no compensation, or anything. I'm just happy to learn. And this is where I talk about the part where my goals are for 2024. So I would kind of touch upon them that, hey, no, my goals for 2024 is kind of just to learn from the best of the industry. And one of them, one of my role models is definitely you, right? So. If you have any opportunities, please let me know. I would love to help out. All right, just like a simple conversation, simple message like that definitely hits the spot, I would say, because it kind of shows to them that, okay, you admire the work and you're down to do anything just to learn from them. So like the amount of dedication, commitment, you're telling in that message just goes to show them that, hey, this is someone who's really interested and not kind of just trying to make quick money off you, right? And uh, hopefully if they're a nice person, they would say yes and be like, you know, yeah, we got this opportunity next week. Why don't you come on down and help us with, you know, buying some food or whatever. I mean, so just opportunities like that. The goal of these messages is just to get in the door, just to have that first contact with that first person. And then at the moment you have that first contact, you better make sure you're making a good first impression, right? Just think of any way you can provide value to them. At the same time, also don't forget to take the value from them like a sponge, you know, like a sponge in your fish tank. You know, so, you know, once you make that first impression, hopefully, you know, there are more projects coming up and there's more opportunities, they will still think of you, right? So make a good first impression, be memorable, be nice, be valuable. And the more you can do that, the more they will think of you and the more they'll bring you on these projects and the more you will learn, right? So the goal for me this year really is to get into these areas where I'm uncomfortable being, I guess the, uh, how to say, like the person who no one really cares about, like at the bottom, but I care a lot about them, right? I don't mind, like you don't care about me. I just want to be in the area where I can listen to you, right? So if I'm able to do that, you know, consistently every month, getting to learn from different people, from different industry. For example, if I'm learning from like, top models in the area or from top producers or top directors, then all these ideas accumulated up. At the end of this year, I'm just hoping that I would be a more goalful person or someone who is more, wow, sorry, my dogs are barking. So basically at the end of the day, my goal for this year is to learn and to grow, to be more experienced, not just as a photographer, as a videographer, as an artist, but just as a human in general. I believe there's so much faucets we can learn from all these different people. They'll make us a better human and in turn, you know, perhaps a better artist, right? So also the bigger long-term goal is that this is a way for me to learn in my lifetime, 
because in their life we're always learning you never stop learning and this is one of the beautiful ways that we can do so and i want to ask you like what is it is there anything you want to try is there anything you want to learn about is there anyone you look up to that you feel like wow how do they do that or how do they create that or how do they come up with that if you have any of those thoughts i definitely encourage you to reach out to them perhaps um, send them a message or meet them up for coffee or have the opportunity to see how they work because i think it'll really benefit you in terms of seeing how they i think it can really benefit you in the way that you'll get so much value from them that you cannot from online you know a lot of these stuff that's so beneficial to us are not so apparent you know it's the little things that really make up the big picture so if you're able to get the opportunity to reach out or to connect with these people i encourage you just do it right um 2024 is going to be a big year i believe for not just me but just but also you as well and i can't wait to get started there's lots of people i'm reaching out to this year lots of people i'm reconnecting connecting new people um and just trying to offer myself out there uh, anyway, 10 minutes is up and thank you for listening to me. Uh, hope to see you on the next one and peace out.